Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Joy. I'm a nurse practitioner living here in Houston. I make content about being a nurse, living here in Houston, and how to achieve your goals. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and push the subscribe button and let's get into the content. Okay y'all, so today I was going to make a video about how to survive nursing school, some top tips that I could give you, like what you need to know to kind of get through nursing school. And then as I was coming up with ideas of what to tell you guys what was important, I realized that I haven't really told you my nursing origin story. So then I was thinking, how am I going to sit here and tell people, you know, how to survive nursing school, how to get through nursing school when you don't even know my background, you don't even know how I got through nursing school, you don't even know why. I went to nursing school so the first video today is going to be about that and then I'm going to make a follow-up video for next week talking about how to survive nursing school uh, things that were important and how I got through it I hope that makes sense for you guys so basically I wanted to let you know that um, I started nursing school at the end of my divorce so I was married to somebody in St. Louis and we had our two kids together so I had a son and I had a daughter. And when we got divorced, I had to move into government housing. We owned our house. I did not work when I was married. So I had to move into government housing in order to support us. And then I had to think of a way, like how can I support us? What do I need to do? That's when, um, you know, I came up with nursing school. So just so you guys know a little background about me, um, my son was born with a rare genetic disorder. and. And I took care of him his whole entire life which was nine years and I had to do all the nursing things like um, you know g2 feedings uh, dressing changes going to several doctor's appointments keeping track of all his medications things like that and I was let's see I got married when I was 19 so you know I was a young mom doing all of these things but never had the drive to be a nurse that was never my goal but once my son he got really sick and needed a bone marrow transplant and we went through that whole process and one day he just he looked up at me and he was like you could be my nurse like you should be my nurse and it was at that moment when I realized that I could be a nurse okay I never thought I could be a nurse I I'm first generation college graduate you know I don't have anybody to look at who was a nurse in our family or who was a nurse practitioner in our family so that's kind of how I got the idea I got the idea from my son who told me that he felt like I could be his nurse so once he said that to me something kind of sparked which is weird because doctors and nurses have been telling me this for years you know while i'm taking care of him going to doctor's appointments they're steady telling me like you should be a nurse you should go back and be a nurse and i'm like no 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 but then when my son told me it changed the game i don't know a light bulb just went off and i felt like I could do this like I could really be a nurse so I enrolled into um, SIUE for my bachelor's after my divorce now at this time I'm living in government housing I have two kids one is sick I'm trying to get through nursing school I'm not working because I'm not gonna lie to y'all it's really hard to hold down a job when you're in nursing school with kids and you're doing it by yourself so no I was not working um but i did what i need to do to get through it and every day was a struggle i'm gonna tell you when you're in nursing school it's literally like anything that can happen bad happens so just be prepared for that you have to keep uh your eye on the prize like stay focused understand what the goal is and continue to move forward no matter what push through no matter what it was days I was like crying all day it was days I was like hungry because I didn't even have time to eat because you got to think like you have your classes you have clinicals you have your kids you still have everything to maintain and you're just one person so it was extremely hard for me um, to get through that but I had to stay focused and the one thing that I just kept telling myself was that um, you know if I if I don't graduate if I don't make it this is it for me like this is it this is my life and I just knew I didn't want my life to end like that like I didn't want that to be my story that's everybody's story behind me 
That's everybody, you know, that I've watched struggle. I just didn't want that to be my life. I didn't want that to be my kid's life. I just wanted to change the course of our life. I wanted to break generational curses. So I had to stay focused at all costs. And that's what I did. So yeah, going through nursing school, you know, I'm struggling. My car broke down. I don't have any money. And I'm just literally trying to stay focused and get through this. And it was in my first year that my son passed away. So my son passed away in December, 2012. And you know, at that time, that, that could have crippled me. Like that could have crippled me. That could have destroyed everything. But because it was the one thing that I had of him, like it was the one thing, it made me focus even more. It made me buckle down even more. I took my couple days to grieve and then I had to get back up and go back to school. And I'm going to tell you all something. There's going to be times when professors tell you that nursing school is not for you. I've had at least three instructors try to tell me I should not be a nurse. Nursing school was not for me. If I would have listened to them, where would I be now? So I'm not saying this is going to happen to you, but I'm saying if it happens to you, don't hold, don't let those words hold weight on you. Don't let those words sit in your mind. Like think to yourself that you're going to get through this and then you're going to walk across the stage and look that professor in the face and let them know like this is for me don't let nobody speak that on you but i definitely had my anatomy uh teacher you know tell me when i told her like what was going on and you know why i, why I was failing and why i was struggling and she was like you know this is somebody's family member i can't let you pass through if you don't deserve the grade so she failed me and i had to repeat that class so another thing i want to tell y'all is i'm here after failing two classes i'm a nurse practitioner after failing two classes in nursing school so don't think like matter of fact i failed three classes in nursing school because i had to repeat statistics I had to repeat statistics. I had to repeat anatomy. Uh, that was in my bachelor's. And then in my master's, I had to repeat NN2, uh, which is like neonatal 2. So listen, do not stop because you failed. Like that doesn't mean anything either. Like nobody cares. You still can get through. You still can get to the end. The only way you don't get to where you're trying to go is if you stop yourself. So like, can you imagine here I am a mother, single mother. I just had got divorced. Um, no, I was going through a divorce. I was going through a divorce. I, my divorce wasn't finalized yet. I had to move into the projects. And then my son passes away in December and I'm trying to communicate with this lady and tell her what's going on with me and why I've been struggling because, you know, cause he's been in the hospital. He's been getting his transplant all these things been going on while I'm still trying to stay focused, still trying to stay in nursing school. Um, and then my son passes away and I still have to function. Like I still got to get up. I still got to function. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. When people always like, Oh, you know, joy, you're so happy. You're so bubbly. If you only knew my story, if you only knew my story, if you only knew all the things I've been through to get where I am now, you, you wouldn't even believe it. You would think I made it up. I mean, sometimes I think like there's no way all these things can happen to one person. But the thing to remember is, you know, you're going to go through so many things in nursing school and they're not going to care. The, probably the only way they'll care is if you're literally dead then they'll drop you but other than that it's like you could be given birth like you could be lost a child you could be going through a divorce you could have no child care your kid could be at home sick they're not going to care they're going to say you missed clinical you didn't show up to class no you can't retake this test they're not going to care there's nobody in that program that's going to care so just get that through your head now so that you're not going up in there thinking that those people are your friends because they are not your friends. I'm gonna tell you that now. So I told this lady that this is what I was going through. This is what's been happening. She still failed me. So I still had to repeat that class. Um, and it was fine because I still came up on top. I still passed that class. I still got through nursing school and I was fine. But I got through nursing school because I didn't quit. 
I didn't quit. I stayed focused. I understood the assignment. It was like this or die, this or die, this or die. That's how I kept telling myself because I knew that if that was my destiny to stay in government housing, to not have a career and to watch my kids grow up like that, to me, that meant that my future self was dead. Like my future self would never happen. The woman that I dreamed up in my head and how I thought my life was supposed to be, it was never going to exist. And that was the thing that kept me focused and kept me grinding at all times. And another thing I'm going to tell y'all, I had a boyfriend at the time and it nursing school destroyed that relationship. So if you're going through nursing school and you're in a relationship and you're trying your best to hold on to that man, girl, let that man go. <laughs> let that man go i'm telling you right now because it's way better when you get to the other side and you made it and now you are in girl if that man couldn't get through nursing school with you he don't deserve to be there at the end he don't he don't deserve it so let that man go i'm so thankful that you know god removed that man from my life i, I wasn't strong enough to remove that man but god removed that man from my life and he ain't dead or nothing but he just gone okay he was a distraction. He was a distraction. Um, and I knew like a lot of times I was neglecting that relationship because you are studying. Like you can't go and do and be out in the world. You got to sacrifice so much for those four years to get through that program. So, you know, I'm not going to sacrifice with my kids. I'm not sacrificing with my degree. So obviously the next thing that's going to get sacrificed is that man. So I'm telling you now, if you're struggling with a relationship and you're trying to get through nursing school, let them go. It's so much easier. So anyway, that was just a quick little video to kind of let you know my origin story and how I got through nursing school. Um, you know, what drove me to, to become a nurse, which was my son, obviously. Um, and then the reason I went back to be a nurse practitioner is because as a nurse, you are part of the team that takes care of the baby, but you don't get to make decisions. Um, and a lot of times I was finding myself questioning, like, why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? And I always knew that the end goal for me would be part of the medical team because I wanted to make decisions. After becoming an RN in the NICU, I went back my second year um, to complete that degree because I knew I needed to be a nurse practitioner. I needed to be on the medical team. I needed to have my voice heard for the families and for the babies. So yeah, just to sum all that up, literally went through a divorce, lost my son, he was nine years old, moved out my house into government housing, struggled with no help, just me and my daughter made it through to the end, um, all to become an RN. Okay, so I just want you to know that about me so that you can kind of understand why I'm doing this channel, why I want to help people get to where um, I am now, because there was nobody, there was nobody who looked like me or talk like me or live by me, nobody I could look at and, and see, you know, this life that I thought I wanted in my head, this life that I'm living now, it was made up. So you guys can come here you can you can see me you can understand nothing was given to me and i worked very hard to get here and this is the reason why i make these videos because i do have people reaching out to me i do have people messaging me saying like i failed you know i tried to take the test and i failed or i failed this class or whatever you know and i'm like girl get up get up because do you want it do you want it and if you want it how bad do you want it how bad do you want it because it takes a lot of work it takes fail after fail after fail but you gotta just keep getting back up and then one day you look up and you hear you made it now you are in now we can celebrate because now you done put in the work and you done went through all that and and we here okay so anyway, if you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you come back for the next video where I'm going to give the tips on things that I did to survive nursing school, both graduate and undergraduate um, programs. 
and then every week I try to post a video for you guys just to be helpful kind of let you know um, what I'm going through as a new nurse practitioner and anything I can remember um, going through as a new RN so push that subscribe button and I will see you guys next week bye